Hey, Dejuan. Um, you know, I guess this is another another tough loss for you guys. Just are, are, are these losses starting to mount in your mind, or how are you dealing with all these? Uh, I mean, they hurt bad because we keep losing double figures, but we just still just keep trying to push, keep trying to fight, and keep getting better to get some wins. How did you personally feel out there? Is your ankle back near 100%? Uh, no, it's not. It's not a hundred percent, but it's so much better thanks to uh, Luke Sabo. We've been uh, in, doing treatment on it so much. He's uh, been taking out a lot of time out of his personal life to help me get better. So it's a lot better. So thanks to Luke. Yeah, C Coach had mentioned, you know, that uh, you were on crutches the day after you originally got got that ankle hurt. Just how badly did you want to get back out there playing? And did you ever think about maybe taking a game off to let it heal a little more? Uh. When I first got back, uh, it, it, it swelled up uh, pretty bad. But then, like the next day, because we have, it was, I think it was two, I can't I think it was a Tuesday. The next day it was a Tuesday, and it was uh, or a Sunday. Some, it was real bad. Why? It's like I couldn't move my toes, and my foot was swollen, and my ankle. So I was, I wouldn't have been able. I wanted to play the next against Iowa State, but I wouldn't have been able to. But me and Luke, me and Luke, uh, spent our whole days about eight, eight hours. A day and got got it better to be able to play today. All right, thanks, Dijuan. Appreciate it. Uh, next question, to Michael Goins. Yeah, Dijuan, you feel like you guys are given the commitment in the uh, in practice and on in the gym and weight room and not seeing results, or just uh, kind of what's it uh, what's it break down to? Um, we practicing every day hard, body's going hard in practice and the weight room, we just gotta uh continue to keep practicing and continue to keep better, keep getting better. That's our biggest thing is to keep getting better. Uh these one uh, whatever our record is, it don't, it do, it doesn't define us. I think as long as we just keep getting better, our character will show what we really are. And what have you gotta do to stop these lengthy runs that Texas went on eighteen zip and OU fifteen to two today? What do you have? How do you stop us? Uh, we in it. We in it with them for for a long time, and then they just take a, a large lead. We gotta sustain sustain the lead. Once they start pressure, we gotta stop, slow down, and take a deep breath and realize that they're trying to pressure us and execute what we're trying to do. And not worry about them and not let their uh, pressure get to us. What was the main offensive uh, game plan tonight? And did you execute it for about 15 minutes, 14, 15 minutes today? Uh, the main thing was uh, was to get the ball in, get the ball in, um, get the ball in the paint. Also, uh, to get actions going like uh, screening and things like that. So, I think we we executed some, but certain things then uh, things came different ways. And just one more: How much did Quath? They're they're big, Kirk Quath kind of affect you guys getting to the rim? Uh, it was pretty hard. You know, he blocked uh, probably about seven shots, you know, so well, whatever it was. We got our shots blocked seven times. Those shots were the, the shots that if we didn't get those blocks, those would have been game changers for us. And those was energy boosts for them. So, you know, we got to uh, play f play basketball, figure out something else to do once we know that he blocking blocking shots like that. Thank you, Dejuan. Thank you. Next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Dejuan, you guys were able to have some success offensively early uh, when you jumped out to the five-point lead. Just but what really changed and led to the struggles the rest of the way on offense? Well, I think that we let our, we let that pressure get to us. That pressure, it, it wasn't a real pressure. It was fake pressure, but we let it get to us instead of us slowing down and taking a breath and realize what they're doing. We were just on attack mode, and that's what got them that lead. You guys did have uh, 10 available scholarship players tonight for the first time in a while. Do you feel like that that did help just to get get some guys back? Uh, I think so, yeah. Help uh, everybody get a breath. New guys get a chance to see the floor and see what see what they got to do better and see, you know, see what that game is in, in college. Uh, how, how tough is it just in general to, to stay positive right now? Uh, it's very hard to keep to stay positive when you're losing, losing this bad. You know we've been struggling, we've been struggling the whole year, and nobody, uh, not the coach staff or none of the players gave up. Still in the gym working, weight room, 
watch your film, just keep trying to get better so we can start, start to win. Appreciate it, Dejon. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Uh, yeah, there's one. Texas and Oklahoma um, had some pretty big dunks against you guys. But what can you do on defense to eliminate some of those moving forward? I'll just take it away. That's so, all. You know, they got a couple dunks, you no know, fast breaks. We got to do better in transition. I feel like we stopped them in, stop them in half court, but we keep not, we're not getting back or we're not getting back fast enough, and we're running to our man instead of running to the middle to stop. You know, stop the uh, paint. So it's just got to do better in transition. Stop those dunks. That's all. And you, you said it was nice having some guys back. What what was uh, the difference when you did have Casey on the floor tonight? Uh, just give us an extra big body. You know, we only have first we only have one big body down there, so then they give us an extra an extra big body to let people know that we, we're big down there. We can throw the ball in the paint too, and it work. All right, thanks, Deshaun. Appreciate. It. Any more questions for Deshaun before? Oh, Michael Goins. Deshaun, was there something that was preventing you guys from getting back on defense in their transition, or what was the main cause of that? Uh, I think the main cause was a couple times we just didn't get back, and a couple times that we just ran to our um, into our man and started running to to the closest person next to us because it's transition. You gotta pick up what's closest and then switch later. That's what I think the things that we did, which caused us to be bad in transition which has been causing us the whole year. We've been bad in transition the whole year, so that's something we got to really get be get better at. We've been doing pretty good in the half court set. So you got to do better in the transition. That's our biggest biggest loss right there. And it appeared going to the rim was really working well for you tonight, especially in the first half. How did, how did you see it? Uh, I just took what they gave me. They gave me a couple. Uh, they got a big shot blocker down there. They gave me a couple openings, and I felt like I got, I got a chance to get some layups. So just took what they gave me. Just keep trying to take what they get, give me till they give me till they give me something else. 